Instant Ramen. It helped me through high school, and even today, it still helps out financially. Mainly because my landlord decided to be evil and is suddenly raising the rent out of nowhere. But if I'm being honest, the flavor packs that come with the ramen aren't very flavorful. Uh, hell, plastic coat hangers have more flavor than these. Don't ask, by the way. So I took creative initiative and decided to make not one, not two, but three delicious ramen hacks you can make at home with ingredients you more or less probably have. Let's get started. Okay, for our first hack, let's add half a cup of tahini paste to a bowl. Cool. Then let's add two tablespoons of fried chilies and oil. Of course, this is just a suggestion. You can add more if you want. And that's what I want. And let's sprinkle in half a teaspoon of salt. Uh, I think it's not, let me, you know what, let me transfer this to a bigger bowl just to be safe. Okay, I have a pot of boiling water. Oh, sorry about the awkward angle. The steam from the pot was fogging up the lens. All right, let's add one pack of ramen noodles. Okay, after three minutes, it should be done cooking. Turn off the heat. And let's add uh, a cup of the pasta water. All right, grab some chopsticks and mix it together. Okay, once it thickens up like this, it's good to go. What's nice about this tahini chili noodle, it's nice, creamy, and filling, and vegan. You can always trust the Lebanese to make some of the best damn food and still be slim and healthy, mainly because inflation in that country has gone crazy and is bordering on a humanitarian crisis. Still, props to my people. Okay, for our next ramen hat, grab one spring onion, chop and chop off the stems, and then slice our green onion as thinly as you can. And let's add them to a separate little bowl. Okay, next, let's mince or crush five cloves of garlic. Now let's take care of the cooking liquid. To a small bowl, let's add a quarter cup of soy sauce. Three teaspoons of sesame oil. One tablespoon of rice vinegar. And one tablespoon of brown sugar. Whisk these together. Let's give it a taste. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm getting on the Dean's list for sure. Okay, new pot, new camera angle, so hopefully it won't fog up this time. Okay, water's boiling. Let's add our noodles. And in a medium sized saucepan, let's set that over medium high heat. Toss in a bit of oil. Let's add our aromatics. Stir around just enough to get the uh, raw garlic flavor off. Okay, after sauteing for about a minute, let's add our sauce. Okay once, it's a, okay, once it thickens slightly, turn off the heat and add our noodles. And transfer it to a bowl. I gotta say, out of all the th three I'm gonna be making, this is my favorite. It's savory and garlicky, but also pretty sweet. Who had no idea bipolarism would be so tasty? Now for our last one, it's Sort of similar to our first one, but hey, it's a nice hack if you don't have tahini. But, peanut butter. Let's add two tablespoons of peanut butter, a tablespoon of fried chilies and oil. 
one tablespoon of soy sauce, and a quarter teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. Let's combine the ingredients together. Okay, same procedure as before, and same awkward camera angle to avoid getting the lens all fogged up. All right, boil our ramen. <laughs> Forgot to hit record. Okay, after three minutes, kill the heat. Add a cup of the pasta water. Mix it together. And transfer our noodles over. A nice peanut butter ramen to make you nice and full. And if you have a peanut allergy, well, two body parts are gonna be inflating like balloons. And those are three delicious ramen hacks you can cook up in your dorm room. And if I were you, I'd start it now because you're gonna end up in a lot of debt once you graduate. Not me though, I already paid mine off. Man, my smugness really compliments the ramen. This has been Chase Cut and Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, sorry about all the foggy footage you saw. Oh, I am not looking forward to post-production.